Okay, so today I'm just going to be uh, showing how to bypass uh, like battle eye bands for, say, armor, for example. Might work on other games, might not. To be honest, I'm not too sure. I've not tried it. Um, I know it's pain in the ass. I uh, had a ban on armor for ages. I just left it for a fair while, but I eventually wanted to play the game again. So I tried a few methods. They didn't work. Wasted money on some Russian accounts. Uh, got banned until I found one method that worked for me. Uh, it might not work for everyone, but it's definitely worth a try, and I'm, I'm certain it will. Uh, first of all, you're gonna wanna download Veracrypt, which is very easy to download. You just go online, just go Veracrypt, online. Um, literally anything. Uh, one of these links will work, you know, SourceForge. It's a decent website, download it on there real quick. Um, once you got it, just install it, follow the installation uh, instructions, it takes a few seconds. Once you're done, you'll have it like this on your desktop, you have this um, come up. Just create volume, next, next, uh, select a file, so you, you just want to go on here. Um, I've got like my SSD, I've already got one, so I'll, I'll show you how to make it, but I won't uh, actually make it. Um, let's say anywhere on your PC, just file name, whatever you want your encrypted uh, file to be called. So you can call it li literally anything, one, two, three, or give it a name. For example, I get mine armor crypt, um, just so I know what it is. Once you've done that, in fact, I'll just, uh, like I said, I'll just do one real quick, save it in my F drive. Just go next. Um, you're going to want, oh, you're going to want. Just keep all that standard um, for this example. I'll just make it like five gigabyte. Um, next, just set a password one two three. That's what I got mine as. Um, don't worry about that. Large files. So, do you in intend on storing uh, files larger than four gigabytes? If so, click yes, um, and then that's it. You'll just do this. Move your mouse around. It collects the sort of encrypted code from your mouse movement so do that um, and then just yeah next so format and then that, that will uh, do its job once you once you got it you're going to want to go on here so select file here find your file so for example mine's armor crypt make sure when you this is another important thing uh, whenever you select a drive to set it to make sure you always select the same one so I wouldn't for example select e G, H, I'd only go for like Z, Y, X, anything low down here or A or B. Um, all it is, if you plug in a USB and your E drive is taken up and you need that USB in your computer for something, then you, when your your games will, and every, all your files will be uh, going to A drive, uh, for example, but then if you mount it to your E, um, it won't, like it won't uh, work properly. So for example, I always use A, just mount that quick, type in your password. Okay, we'll come up with this real quick. Just let it do its thing, take a second. For example here, uh, for some reason, mine keeps coming up with this since I've, my computer crashed earlier. Um, I won't worry about it, I always just click no. Um, and then that's it, it will mount here as you can see. So I got mine set to 100 gigs, so I have plenty of space for armor and mods. Um, so here you can see you got your local disk A now set. Um, so you go on here, you, you're going to want to get Steam, uh, the Steam setup from the Steam website. So you just go Steam download, simple as that, download off of there, uh, install Steam there, put that onto your drive here install it onto your a drive once you've got it on your a drive just make sure that um, you install on there and any games you install on there so for example and then you're going to have your steam in here make sure you just right click the steam.exe create a shortcut i always do that it just saves your hassle going into it every time put it on there so you always load your steam from there whenever you want to have it encrypted i just got to close my steam because it's open on my normal drive at the minute but yeah, just double click that, load up your Steam. Um, let that do that thing. Once that's done, just fucking 
Okay, I log in. You're gonna want to log in, uh, which I'll quickly do off screen real quick. So there's just one of my random accounts real quick. Um, just don't really give a shit about. Oh, for some reason that password didn't work. I chose the wrong one. There we go. Once that's loaded, as you can see, none of my other games on my computer show is installed on this. Um, so that's how you know that's fine. You're just going to, like I say, want to install armor on it. Uh, if you've already got it on your computer. So let's say, for example, um, let, let's say this is your C drive and you got armor installed already. Just go on to armor. Uh, delete any files like DLL. Anything that's not got big files in it. So like your add-ons, don't delete that. Just delete all of these. Um, delete everything out like your armor files, out your documents. Uh, another thing I, I suggest is get Revo Uninstaller. Once you've copied the file onto your A drive, so get Revo Uninstaller, uninstall armor using that. And then, um, I mean, there'll be separate videos out there how to use that if you don't know how. Uh, it's very simple. Literally uninstall armor with that and uh, it will give you an option afterwards to delete any files that left in your registry for it. Uh, do the same for battle eye. Make sure that's all gone. Now once you've done that, you'll have um, your armor. So what you're going to want to do, um, which I do, is so go to your armor wherever it is on your computer. So for example, mine, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Armor Free. Copy this directory here. Go in here on your launch options on Steam. Do uh, copy that in there and then do profiles equals and then profiles exactly like that. Uh, make sure it's like that all the time, otherwise, it will start going onto your uh, C drive. And then you should be good to load up armor and play it. As you can see on this account, I've got 5.4 hours. Um, on my other one, I got like 30 hours now, and it's been fine so far. Not had a problem. I've usually found that uh, with my hardware ID ban, I've been getting banned after about three to five hours um, after I've gone off for a, like a little bit. So I've not had, like I said, I've not had no problems since doing this. So it's definitely a good bet. Make sure you change your IP if you got a dynamic IP. It's very simple. Just reset your router, leave it unplugged for a good minute or two. And then you can put it back on or you can go on your um type your go on look ip sorry command prompt just go ip config um i'm not bothered about hiding my ip address because it'll probably be reset by like tomorrow you're going to want to go to your main uh, ethernet adapter for example whatever you use and then that will be your default gateway there so you can go on there and a lot of time there's an option to disconnect it and then just reconnect it after about a few seconds and um, it will load once it resets just make sure ipv4 um, has changed so you can just do that by going on google what is my ip uh, go on here and this one should change here your ipv4 as long as that's changed you're all good you should just be able to load up armor make sure you got like i say make sure you got a new account uh don't log in with your other account that's banned on it you should be good. If you do need to go on your other account for whatever reason, uh, whilst you're on your your unbanned account, just download Sandboxy. That's another good program. Um, I wouldn't download games with it because then it starts putting it into a Sandboxy uh, file. So then it won't be... You'll have to load up fucking Sandboxy every time it's pain in the ass. But if you say like want to be able to message friends on your main steam account wash on your unbanned one then you can do that um just search for it download it as simple as that but yeah that would most likely get you unbanned um you shouldn't have any problems i'm pretty sure it'll work in other games with battle eye as well um i don't know how it works to be honest i'm not a computer genius but uh, i assume it just somehow can't read your hardware id but it definitely saves you uh spending a shitload on a hardware id spoofer um because the price is a bit ridiculous if you're going to be using it for a fair while. Um, that's for sure. So I'd just save your money. Try this. And if it don't work, the program's free and the account's probably about $5. So at least you're not throwing a bunch of money down the drain on a 
hardware ID spoofer and an account. So just give that a try. It should work. Pr probably work for other games using like your easy anti cheat. It's definitely worth a try considering it's free. The only thing you have to pay for is your account. So like I say, give it a shot, see how it goes for you. If it does work, then perfect. If it don't, then unlucky, I guess. Make sure you do change your IP address um, as that is one mistake I've made before I done I changed uh, computer components out and everything and then forgot to change my IP and then I got banned straight away so a bit of a mistake on my part I just I fell asleep after changing all my computer bits woke up next day loaded armor up banned so just make sure you do that it will definitely save you a bunch of hassle um, see so yeah, I hope it helps if it does, then like I say, great. If it don't, then you got to keep trying.